in the previous video in the previous video we talked about um how we can use the get dummies and how we can use um the label encoder and also cleaning um some of the some of the some of the uh, features that we have here right so dealing with all these features so now what we need to do is to actually consider some of the algorithms that we can actually um use in this particular case don't forget that this is a regression problem this is uh, actually a, um, a supervised machine learning where we have a target that we are trying to actually predict and um, we also have um, a continuous variable that we can actually um, use regression algorithms to actually uh, make that particular prediction so what i'm going to do over here is to actually drop some some items which i'm not actually going to need don't forget we have combined some items right in the previous video we combined some items to create item type right let's let's go a little bit up and then see what we did right so if we see item type uh, i'm going to actually run this 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 i'm going to actually just give it a head so that's how i have space okay then i'll do the same thing for this so that when i'm coming up it won't be a long journey to go okay now um if we see the item type let's go a little bit up, up and then see what we did with um the item type okay this is the item type now don't forget that for the item type we created um three categories right instead of instead of the six categories that we were having the 16 categories that we were having we created three categories out of that right that is that is um food non-consumables and drinks okay so now we don't need now and after, after creating it we store it in a new column called new item type so we don't need the old one again the old item type that's why we are dropping it right that's why um when we, we are starting we are we want to drop this this item type we don't need it again right and then for the item uh for the outside establishment here don't forget we subtracted everything from 2019 and then we got um the the particular years right which has also been stored in a different um let me let me go a little bit up and then see which has also been stored in a different yeah over here which has also been stored in a different variable called outlet years so we don't now need this outlet establishment here again it's going to be redundant in our data set so we're going to drop that one also right and then we specify that whatever we are dropping is in the column and we want whatever changes we are doing to reflect in the original data set that's what we're doing now what we're going to do over here is some um, i mean there are several ways that you can do it right this is just one of the ways that you can you can you can you can take i'm just going to do it but um after that i will show you um i'll give you some suggestions that you can also um try okay so for the training data i'm just going to select i'm just going to locate the source remember earlier on when i was when i was putting everything together up here right when i was putting everything together up here if i should go right at the beginning when i was putting the training data and the testing data yeah i gave them a tag as train and test right now i want to select the original training point uh, data points that i was having that i that i got that i loaded them from here from the original data set right i tag them with uh with a tag right with a tag called train right and then the test i tag them with test so i want to select that so that's what i'm going to do right now over here right that's the reason why right from the beginning i did that so that later on if i want to separate them i can base on the tags that i gave them earlier on and do that so if i go into this this df right and then i locate a column called source right and um if this if it is equivalent right if it's equivalent to train right if the tag over there is train i select it and store it in train right if the tag over there is equivalent to test i select it and store it in test that's as simple as that so now i'll have my train data and then i'll have my test data all right that i'm going to do with okay now after that i don't need the source the source column again the purpose of the source column over there was just for me uh just to help me to be able to separate the data into training and testing now that i've done that i don't need it anymore so i'm going to drop that all right now um one thing that i'll drop again right one thing that i'll drop uh, again okay now over here don't forget i'm dropping it but i'm dropping it in the train data right i'm dropping it in the train data so i would drop the same thing in the tested data as well right because i don't need it over there too 
So in the test data, I'll drop it, right? I'll drop the, the source, the source data, I'll drop it. Now I'll drop the item outlet sales as well, right? The, the item outlet sales, because I don't want to actually um, let my data to, to actually uh, be, be, be learning from that. Um, when it comes to when it comes to the training for the white train, I'm going to only use that the item outlet sales, which is our target. I'm going to use that, right? I'm going to use that. So um, I don't want my my my. I don't want to. I mean, I'll be using this test as as a testing data, and then uh, for the white train, which is my target, right? I'm going to select only the outlet sales, which is our target, and keep it there. Okay. Now for the S test, right? For the S test, I'm going to drop the item identifier and also the item, uh, the outlet identifier, right? I'm going to drop that. Now, um, if we see the item identifier over here, remember we dealt with the item identifier. If I go a little bit up, item identifier, uh, I think, one more, yeah, over, over here, item identifier, right? We created this, 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 it becomes, it becomes um, this new item type, right? It becomes new item type after group th grouping them into this, right? So we don't actually need that anymore. It's just a redundant data that is now existing. So um, I'm going to drop that and I'll drop it also in the S train as well. I will drop that in the S train as well. And um, after that, I'll start, I'll start by building my algorithm, right? I'll start by building my algorithm. And the first one that I will consider is the linear regression, right? I'll consider the linear regression since it is a regression problem. I'll consider the linear regression. So uh, as we did, as we did for label encoder, we just initialize it, right? So that's what I'm going to do over here. And I just initialize it into a variable called LR. You can just do any 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 variable at all. Maybe um, you can just use linear or you can just even just name it as model, right? This one is your, your own personal choice, right? So um, in this particular example, I, I just I just um, name it as, as, as LR, okay? And then after that, after I initialize it, I, I use it to fit on my, my training data, right? I use it to fit on my training data. Then um, after fitting it on my training data, I make some predictions over here. So you can see uh, some of the predictions that is happening here. So this is the uh, outlet sales, right? The, the, our target here is the item outlet sales. So these are some of the sales, some of the sales that we are able to predict, right? These are some of the sales. That we are able to print. Don't forget the that column actually contains that. If you see the original data, that's how the more outlet sales are. Let's go a little bit up and then see. If we see um say the test for instance, right? If we I mean the test I mean the training was the one having that um outlet sales yeah. You see that it's having some sales here, right? It's having so this is what we actually need to predict. Remember that's what our problem statement was actually asking us to do to actually um to actually predict, right? Predict predict this, right? To predict the, the, the sales per product, right? Something like that. So that's that's what we need to predict some of the sales over here. Okay, so I'm going all the way down to where we are, right? To where we are all the way down here okay so after after doing that after using the linear regression we can see that we are able to make some predictions as well okay now if we check if we check the the score for that right if we check the score for that you can see that we are doing 56 uh, percent um, don't forget some the score i'm doing it on this 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 uh, string and then the y train because i did not use um train test splits in this in this in this situation to get y test y train uh so which i can actually use for this kind of thing but you can actually use that right from here you can actually uh, instead of instead of dividing your data set into this this form you can actually use the train test split function to actually um do that all right so um instead of maybe following what i what i did over here you can also use a different approach and then use the train test split to actually um, also also do that okay so don't strictly go what, I, what i've done here because it's just it's just one way to do it right and actually you can also be dynamic and uh, use a different approach in this case so with this um we get a score to be 56 if we use decision tree right so the algorithm is just nothing but just the same way 
I mean, we are we use just the same way, right? Here, initialize a net, right? With some hyperparameters that you can actually um, change either of them, right? So the maximum that that I choose here is 15. The minimum, um, the minimum samples of the leaf over here is is 100, right? So all these are hyperparameters that you can tune or you can change them by yourself, right? And then uh, after after initializing it, I just throw it. I mean, initialize it to to a variable called tree. Then I use it to fit. Right. Then I use it to make some predictions over here as well. All right. So if I check this prediction over here, right? If I um, if I check the predictions over here, you can see that it's also making some predictions over here. So um, you can you can you can just change it. You can just tune it as you want. If you check the score over here, we have sixty two here. Right. You consider random forest for instance. So all the algorithms are just the same formula. It doesn't actually. Uh, the the main thing is to actually do this feature engineering and do it very well right to do this feature engineering and do it very well make sure that's why we say that um data preparation or uh, i mean getting your data to be more quality to get to actually build algorithm on is the is why 90 percent of your time will be spent right so getting your data having insight in it and preparing it like that is where i mean the work is and that is where you need to take critical steps right because the algorithm is just it just um it's just just one way thing that you can actually do right just initializing it using it to fit right initializing using it to fit making some predictions checking the score i mean if you take the random first for instance we did the same thing we imported it right we imported it and then we initialize it right with some hyperparameters here which you can change any of them and then um after that we use it to fit on our data use it to make some predictions check the score right so it's, it's just the same thing that we did for all of them okay and uh here is the sg boost you import the sg boost right you initialize it you initialize it okay you initialize it over here use it to fit right use it to fit and uh, the all these are just hyper parameters as i said that you can tune for yourself and then you make some predictions on it right you check the score right so in this in this particular case you can see that we have the sg boost is the one doing better than all the other ones that we use right the lines of random forest decision tree linear regression right so sg boost is actually doing better here now what you can do is to actually use the train test split so that you can actually get a testing data to actually test your data instead of over here that I'm using um, training. I'm using the training data to actually make this testing, right? So you can use the train test split to actually do. I've given you some suggestions and some other algorithms so that you can actually um, actually use use in addition to this and then compare the accuracy. You can even you can even uh, you can even build the um, the ROC curve. You can also use the um, you can also use the confusion matrix, right? You can use the confusion matrix to also um, see how well your algorithm is also doing. Okay, you can also use um, build build a, 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 um, a classification report, right? You can also build a classification report for this, right? So there are several several ways. I mean that you can actually go about it. And, and in some of the in some of the uh, previous previous projects that we've been dealing with, we've done all those. That's why I did not spend much time actually on these these algorithms right because they are all following just the same thing that we have we've been doing in all the other projects all right so it's not it's not i mean building the algorithm is not a big deal but doing this feature 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 engineering and uh, feature extraction is why you need to actually take care because if you do um things wrong here um, the results that you're going to get here is actually going to be wrong. Right? It's going to be I mean a bad model because whatever you're going to get here is what you're going to feed to these algorithms and they're going to eat what you're feeding them and produce what they they, they eat. Okay. So um I think I hope I hope you got you got I mean an idea about how you go about when you get a data set which demands you to do a lot of um, feature engineering and feature extraction like this. Okay. So um I will see you in the next in the next project. Um have a nice day. Goodbye.